That sounds terrible. Whatever that is. It's probably not very fast. Yeah. That's what I thought. It's also random shit, just like from walking around the desert. Sometimes it'll look like you're about to go into a random uh, boss encounter. Battle encounter. Fight. But instead you'll just like encounter some random people on the uh, on the path. and they'll, Some of them are pretty funny. None uh, that I can think of off the top of my head, but... So this is the last screen that you can go to. This is the lost city over here. We can't get there yet, because there's this giant kind of lake waterfall cutting down the middle. And we should run into... Yes! A trapped monkey. Goes by the name Manu. He's a kind little monkey. Let's greet him. And he speaks very good English. Well, a little repetitive English, but. We could talk to him a little bit. And now he's my friend. Bye! Alright, so. That's what I was trying to do. That should be the last missing piece. Now we freed Manu. And probably got into a fight right here. Now if I go back to the Simbani village, I should... What the hell? I'm way over here, what the hell is that? Oh, it's a ape man. So you got lizard men, you got lion men, you got... Crocodile men, you got eight men. Hey, these guys are kinda weak. These are the guys you run into in the lost city. Across the uh, across the river. Not much of a threat. Let's see if they carry any cash. Across the screen without getting in it. any random encounters or just one. This one's not too bad. Ah. spinning his poison at me. That would suck. Alright. Back to the Simbani village. And hopefully they will have caught the prisoner by now. Fireballs are weak as hell. Just a steady stream of fire. Does the trick. Let's grab another horn. 
Now we have three. I should definitely hit up the bar tonight with those. Just hang them around my neck. Be like, check it out, ladies. Alright, what do you got to tell me, buddy? There you go. That's what I like to hear. Ah, just time for story time. Ah, He's talking about the spear, they stole the spear, blah blah blah. I'm not really sure if he's for or against war, but... See that leopard woman. Yeah. All right. She looks thirsty. All right. Come back when you're not guarding her, Dick. Thought we were cool, man. Yeah, random guy. Doesn't even speak English. Now we see the transformation of Lion Tarda. Or Leopard Woman, a sexy Leopard Woman. <laughs> Alright. Right. Let's go talk to the chief. Chief. Yep. Everybody's gonna want her now. What is the price? Five zebra skins, one fine rope, one fine spear. I bought all that crap earlier. Alright. Let's see if I can give it to him. That's why I told you to buy all that crap earlier. Need it right now. All right. Well. <laughs> so, actually, you have to go through the motions of leaving and then going back in, and then you can buy the. Uh, then you can buy the leopard woman. There we go. There's your crap. <laughs> It'll be interesting to be married to a. Now we can go use her to take us to the secret leopard village and we can sort out this whole this whole theft business. Actually, let's give her some beads. They like beads. something you can't understand, but you don't think it was flattering. <laughs> oh well. Easy to come, easy to go, right? Let's play with Brigham's audience. <laughs> uh, you're a little behind on the times guy. I just bought her and subsequently lost her. <laughs> and there's no music for some reason. Maybe when we go to the next screen. Hell. Giant ant. Giant ant. Yep. Let's do it. Let's dance, ant. Stabby, stabby. You don't like that? I like it. I like stabbing you. Sorry if you don't like it. Sorry if you can't find the charm in it, giant ant. Well, you get the idea. <laughs> A little OCD that he had to run around that rock. That was kind of weird. Alright. So once you freed the uh, leopard woman, you can uh, head due east. 
Her village is actually right here. I know that from playing it before. You're not supposed to know that. It's right down here in these trees. But yeah, if you just run like an idiot through the uh, through the jungle and then call out. <laughs> Fair enough. That's true. I get into a, a lot of battles all the time. Well, I, I did buy you. First, you buy me for wife, and then you only want to be friends, right? You try to explain you're only trying to bring peace. <laughs> you try to talk your way out of this mess. <laughs> you're, trying to use me. you're so cute. She takes off after that initial round of questioning. Run a bit further into the jungle and uh, the same thing will happen. Might as well be close to her village when you do finally meet up with her. Ah, fuck. Stupid lizard guy. Yeah. Might be the last battle I get into though, so... Actually, that's not true. But I am very close to the ending at this point. Believe it or not. Let's see if I can get it under the two hour mark at this point. I don't even want your money, dead crocodile man. Keep it. Come on. Running around all night. Where are you? This is ridiculous. Look at the zigzags I've made. <laughs> it's a new night. Yeah, this is where the music gets sweet. Where is she? <laughs> I knew it was you. Come on, take me to your village. I want peace. Now we're going to our village together. Or not. Fuck. What the? Oh, come on, man. Oh. What? Oh, I'm trying to beat this game. Where it's... Why is she running away? Oh, son of a bitch.
now I'm wondering if I need to have the drum before she'll take me to the village. No, but I need to steal the drum, I thought. I'm a thief, aren't I? Yeah, I'm a thief. Hell yeah, I'm a thief. Whore. Just, just running around a jungle at this point, just killing dudes. It's not my. Die, Ant. Fireball you. Running around the jungle looking for Johari. You know what? I might just. I'm gonna pause the video until I actually find her because you shouldn't have to watch this. I'm just gonna keep swearing. And yeah. Alright. I'm gonna pause the video. <laughs> Hold on. Alright. As soon as I paused it, I basically ran into her again, told her about peace. She's on board, sort of, and she's taking me to their village to discuss peace. Let's do it. Fortunately, her village is, like, right here, so she's squeezing in all of her conversation right now. I don't need to sleep. It's fine. going. I haven't slept in a few days, actually, because I've been running around the jungle like an idiot looking for you. But that... Leave that aside. Just, just randomly talk about romance here. And then inexplicably gives me a kiss. <laughs> Even though she seems so uh, detested by me, I think she's intrigued by me. So we're gonna get to sit in on their uh, magic circle. Now you will see some real magic. I don't think she's talking about the juggling light spell. What? It's pretty crazy. Alright. Alright guys, time to get our thief on for the first time in this game essentially. And I don't count... I don't count exchanging a uh, common for a royal. <laughs> or a centime for a royal, or whatever the currency is. That's not real thiefing. This is real thiefing. Automatic save. Chewy or pet black leopard. Alright, so here's what we do. First, to appease Chewy, we throw down some of our none other than Kolb's meat. <laughs> there we go, that'll keep him occupied. Now let's connect the grapnel to the rope. First time I've done that apparently. We'll shimmy across that. Sneak into 
his little his little hut here. Her father, the chief. And we can recover the uh, automatic saving gun. Just kind of piggyback them all on at the same time. So now we're gonna sneak in here and grab the Simbani Spear of Death, which they stole. Oh, and there's a monkey. That's not Manu, by the way. That might be his friend, though, so... Here's a chest we might as well oil. Almost put honey on it. <laughs> that would have put me in a sticky situation. What the fuck? What are you doing? Ah, the monkey. The monkey saw me. What a little dick. Get out of here, monkey. Grab the spear. Oil up that case. We got the Spear of Death. We can take that back to the Simbani village. Another automatic save, apparently. <laughs> A little tightrope across here, too. Called me. So you can actually, uh. Yeah, I just realized. Yeah. <laughs> I could have broken into his hut and stolen the, the drum of magic earlier. That's why it took me so long to find her in the forest, because I didn't have the drum. Yeah, that was dumb. Eh, you can do it either way. Doesn't matter. Would have much preferred to have stolen the drum, but that's okay. So now he's happy. We can talk peace. I'll take the drum back. See, everything's getting resolved. Here you go, cat man. Behold! The drum of magic! <laughs> Play some mean beats on that. Maybe you should stop calling them the cow people if we're gonna talk beast, guy. <laughs> so here we go, we have a peace conference back in Tarna. Everything seems to be going well. <laughs> That's why I like the hero, you know? He, he organizes all the stuff, brings... Makes the peace happen, but in the end he finds the talks to be rather boring. I feel like I'd be the same way. Talk in peace. Uh oh. Rikisha's spidey sense is tingling. Shit! It was a ruse! And they're both dead. Ah, oh, the leopard man was possessed by a demon. Raja's upset. I'm running before they close the gates. Damn. Well, shit just got real. All of my friends are now dead or kind of entangled in the big mess. They got a sword out. So. I have one friend left, as far as I can tell. Who might that be? You'll see. Yep, when the world has let you down. What is this? There's only one friend you can turn to. 
do. It's Manu, our monkey friend. <laughs> Hi, Manu. Yeah, I'll come to your village. <laughs> I literally have nothing else going on. <laughs> Manu, go sleep now. Night, night. <laughs> we just started. At least I know it was Manu by my side. I won't have to fight any dudes. Not that Manu scares them off, but... Well, maybe he does. Good son. Manu happy. Time to go now. Go to Monkey Village. Man friend happy. Gotta love Manu's upbeat demeanor and outlook on the world. Alright. It's probably not just, just like my village, Manu, really. You have an apothecary. You have a magic shop. You have an inn. I don't think so. Well, maybe he'll surprise us. You never know. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of monkeys live in the monkey village. Just when it was getting good. Alright, where is this monkey village? Man, I Alright. Shut up about here. I think you're overselling it a little bit at this point, Manu. <laughs> you be monkey man. <laughs> well, let's... This is your village? <laughs> A tree? This is nothing like a human village. <laughs> this place sucks. Who is that? Is that Manu? You see your good buddy, Manu. That's interesting. <laughs> Where are the demons hanging out, man? That's where I want to go, the bad city. Yeah, I need to go to the lost city. Come on, Manu. Take me there. You know how to get there, buddy. Alright, just took a little convincing. Sun that up, Manu. Go sleep down. Night, night. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, this is going to come in just over two hours. We were very close to the ending at this point. It's all going to go down in the Lost City. Oh, yeah. I get it. You're freaking out. Across this river, the falls. Automatic save. Acrobatics. It's alright, I got a rope for just these kinds of situations. There we go. Alright. Almost there. Down. Last fight of the game. And apparently another automatic save. Just to just to draw this out. Come on. Just a giant smiley. So what they mean is a demon is approaching, and there's lots of different ways to 
handle the demon. Fighters would fight him, magic users would magic him. I like to run because I'm a thief. And I think that's the natural response when you're a thief. Just get the fuck out of there. No matter what you do, if you, you kill the thing, if you run away, you magic him to death. Whatever you do, the monkeys will uh, be impressed. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't take much, though. Have you seen their village? Honestly. <laughs> very bad thing. Very far away. <laughs> man, fr man friend fool. Very bad thing. Man friend very smart. Alright. Finish this all now. Let's finish it off. I don't see why I couldn't have gotten here by myself, frankly. I didn't need him to get across the falls, and I could see the lost city on my map quite clearly. No, man, no. Gotta explain to him about honor. It's about giving meat to a guy who has no honor. It's about tipping a guy who's playing an instrument. And Shapir. That's what honor is all about, Manu. Alright. Thanks for coming with me, Manu. This is where we this is where we say goodbye. Aw. Sorry, buddy. Crawling with eight men. And luckily, we picked up the uh, the eye from that little mirror bat earlier. That's what we need to get inside. And be sure to sneak around here. Because these guys will mess up your shit, if you know what I mean. Let's save here, because I don't remember if I need to chuck a rock to distract them, or what I need to do. I know I need to be quiet. It's sneaky. Again with the honey. There we go. Last, last issue of Lock Picker's Lock. I wonder if that's a thick read. <laughs> All right. Did that the thief way. I'm not a demon. This is Rishaka, oh my gosh. It's Rikisha's daughter who was thought to be dead. Ah, and she's being possessed by a giant. Uh, no. I don't have to kill you, I can dispel you. There we go. Portal, and there's Ohura. What's going on, Ohura? Nice of you to join the party. Ah, oh, look, there's uh, there's my wife, Leopard Woman. Right on. Oh, it's Yusufu. Who the hell else is in there? <laughs> this is exciting now. Who's gonna come out next? Harami. Run out of meat? <laughs> Who else we got? And Rakesh. Hey, buddy. That's your daughter, by the way. I, uh, I didn't kill her. <laughs> there you go. Nice. 
Come on, Harami. Puss out on a Sarami. We need. I need four friends. Who else are we gonna? Ah, oh, it's Manu. <laughs> Little monkey, big heart. The balls on that monkey to take on a demon. All right, let's do it. Four different friends now follow where the hero leads. A monkey that's supposed to fight demons. Give me a break. How's a monkey supposed to? Help? Man who very brave, man who fight bad things, man who help man friend. Harami, never rejected the offer of friendship and help. Man who has great courage and loyalty. Alright, let's do it. Alright, let's take out these demons. This part is trippy. Here we see a reflection of ourselves. And we see a horrible mutation of ourselves, which we will have to fight in demon form. I just look like a like a dick, like an ogre. Looks like the French version of me, with red eyes. So you can't beat this guy, actually. Each hit, you can see it, barely does any damage. Doesn't even go down. So you just have to let this guy mess you up for a while. I've gotten him down pretty far before, but it's, it's literally, they make it so it's impossible to beat this guy. Uh, it just takes a while him to kill me because I'm so ripped apparently. And he's just got a little toothpick he's stabbing me with. Sit back and enjoy the epic soundtrack. Hmm. Yeah, I wonder if Tree of Life is good. Might check it out at some point. Again, if you've seen it, if you want to chime in in the comments, be my guest, I'd appreciate it. Get a review. Get a review from someone who likes Quest for Glory. Not that that man, I don't know. I know what I'm saying, it's 2 in the morning. Hey, it's Arami! Thanks, Arami. Can't say I softened him up. Oh. How'd you learn that? <laughs> Take these pills I borrowed and scram. I haven't taken a pill in this entire game. Thanks, Rami. Alright, final showdown, gamers. Soundtrack starts out so promising. Automatic save. So that just some random demon is trying to bring the evil demon into this world using that orb. What say we stop him? With a little help from our rope. Right over your head. Ah, pillar on fire. Little acrobats here as we go across. And 
flip. Thanks, rope seller guy. <laughs> Last bit of rope left. Why not shoot it right into his skull? <laughs> I wouldn't have thought of that, but I learned it over the years of playing this game. That's what you gotta do. Everyone has a different way of taking them out. That's the thief way. And that's all there is to it. We seal the demon in his world. My friends survived their battles with the demons. Man who can go back to his stupid little tree village. Uhura's happy. Rami's happy. Everyone's happy. Everyone's safe. Thanks, Isufu. And apparently, she just. I don't remember him saying that, but... Alright, they're getting married now. Thanks, guys. You good kid. Ah! What the fuck? What well, ain't the polka? Thiefy McSteels! <laughs> oh no, it's that advice. And a mystery cloaked... Wizard. Maybe they're not connected to my sudden spasms. Oh no, they are! They're controlling me. And yes, the next one is actually Shadows of Darkness, so... Look for that. I will be playing that in the near future, but that's it for now. Thanks for, uh, those are my final numbers there for Thiefy McSteels. Not bad. Not great, but if I spent more time on it, I could've gotten a lot of those up. But anyways, yeah, thanks for watching this playthrough. Appreciate it. Hope to see you guys next week, same time. And take care until then. Alright, later.